this is Jason from Lenby.com with an activity report from my monocrop colonies here. As you can see, the we uh, this is the 24th of June. We got several things blooming right now. One thing that I know is still blooming is the basswood. I was looking at uh, basswood that's in uh, the yard here. This is this location today a little earlier. Uh, they're also working clover, uh, pretty heavy, and uh, probably some other things too. I ha was noticing earlier those two taller colonies on the left, those have got some bees that are chewing on woodwork. As I have noted in pictures uh, on the LetEmBe.com Facebook page, that is a trend that I'm seeing uh, in certain sourcing locations that bees that chew on woodwork tend to not die. And now the one closest to me here, 1208, they have been passing selection since 2012, yet they do not chew on wood. So you can't always count on that as an indicator, but it is a positive when you do see it, at least here in my location. The two smaller colonies there have built up well. Uh, I have no reason to believe that they won't overwinter, but that's the thing with selection. And one of the things that I have a problem with, with the typical beekeeping convention that we can somehow open these colonies up and tell by looking inside whether they're going to make it or not. I don't know as if we can always do that. The best thing to do is to allow them on their own to attempt to pass selection and just watch and see what happens. All signs indicate that things are going really, really good here. Good levels of activity. This is the kind of thing that I associate uh, with nice feral caught swarms. So get out there, get to catching bees with swarm traps and allowing them to pass selection on their own because selection is science. This is Jason from LetItBe.com.